What is up the world? This is Jack Lacey here with Lacey Media and today I'm going to be jumping on my phone and on the computer screen I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff from a new program called Try It On AI. So I'm a partner with Try It On AI and uh, you'll be able to use the hashtags made it with Try It On at, uh, AI and uh, I'll put those below. Uh, again, it's um, Try It On AI and uh, the biggest thing about this is, is uh, its ability to take a bunch of your photos, 10 to 20, post them in there. It does a little thing where it checks you out and sees your face structure and different things. And you can go in there and do a lot of different edits and we're going to talk about it. <clears throat> but as you know, um, Lacey Media, my wife and I are both professional photographers and we charge anywhere from 200 to a thousand dollars, depending upon if you want a portrait session, if you want a wedding, you want to do different things. Uh, photo shoots, we do bands. <clears throat> so again, everything we do is going to be leased, you know, 150, 200, 300, 500 or more, all the way up to $5,000, depending on what kind of photo shoot you want. But let's say you don't have that kind of money and you don't have the time or the clothing to go sit, dress up, you know, sit there for an hour, get your, get your photos done, wait a week or so for the, you know, the, the photos to come back. So you want to go on there and do something quick. You want to do you spend 17, 29, you know, bucks and, and um, ability to have some nice, clean looking LinkedIn headshots or some um, uh, business resume headshots. And at the same time, we're gonna show you can do some fun photos too. So follow me along. I'm gonna you know, get on the phone and show you kind of how, how I did it first on the phone, just so that you can do it on your phone and then we'll go to the computer screen and I'll show you some enhancement things you can do and some different things that you can do to make the photos better and to uh, really play with it and have a good time. So again, it's a uh, try it on AI. And uh, we, again, Lacey Media is a partner with them and I'll put all the hashtags below. But again, thanks for watching and let us know what you think. And again, the model will be my wife that I'll be using uh, as my test subject in the, in the beta program. Thanks, thanks for watching, have a good day. All right, let's go check this out again. This is Try it on AI, and it's a. Uh, you go in here on your phone, you look, and it's prepped for the photo shoot. And you go in here and pick your woman and man, kind of see what you want to do. And uh, picking a woman here, we're gonna use my wife. So it gives you kind of deal 10 to 20 recent shots. It tells you kind of what to look for, square photos in the face, you know, uh, good quality, things like that. Again, that most people take selfies or different people take pictures of them. You can use those. What not to do. The do nots, make sure you read those. Again, just you know, old photos and different things have bad quality. You wanna make sure that you use good photos. It's gonna make a much better AI for you. So you <clears throat> read through those, it kinda of shows you some examples. So then you wanna go in here and drag and drop or upload some images to your, um, again, I'm on the iPhone. So the 10 to 30 photos, I keep saying 20, but you can do up to 30. Again, the more photos you have, uh, the better photos, the more better program. So I added about 10 here, 11, 10 or 11 to my wife, because um, she looks much better than me. So you can pick the eye color. Again, my wife's got blue eyes. And then we go in here, my wife has blonde hair. So they have all the different hair colors you can use. So we pick blonde. <clears throat> then, you know, there's the glasses in the pictures, you have pixie cuts, things like that. Um, none of those are good. So. Send those all off, be uploaded, and it'll upload all the pictures in the program. <clears throat> this way it gives you some examples, you know. So 20 to 40 minutes, and then they'll send you, let you know that it's ready to go. So you can join the Discord community program also to help you do better programs. So make sure you go check out that Discord program. So here's a few that uh, popped up of, again, these are, these are not real pictures of my wife. These are computer generated AI photos from try it on AI. Those are pretty good. So let's see if we can download, <clears throat> maybe try downloading some of them. Download that one and download this other one. Cause those are actually look pretty good. Not doing really too much editing on those. Those are pretty nice shots. Now again, you know, some of the things look a little different. Maybe there's some wrinkles that I need to, that not, my wife doesn't have there. 
that may have added, I'm not sure. And again, her facial structure is a little different than all of them, but nothing that's major. And again, it's an AI program. So there's this one right here. I kind of like that one. <clears throat> now look, so now I've played with some of them here and you can see that I've done some fun shots too and some black and white, looks like old shots. Now that one has kind of a long neck. It's really kind of strange. So I don't know why it was that way. So we took that one off and you can delete them. The ones you don't want to use. Um, again, that's a really nice one there. That's really a look that she gives. Um, I really like those two because I got added some tattoos that my wife actually doesn't have, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And uh, she doesn't have those. And then that one right there, her neck's a little long in that one, not her normal shot, but it's a cute picture though. But we'll get rid of that one. And again, another long neck there. Uh, kind of looking like some different aspects. Now the hairdos, some of those like definitely my wife. So and right here, you can go in here and text kind of, you know, gives you samples of what to, you know, generate when it comes to adding text way of four new images are going to be generated so it does four and it takes some credits away from you when you every time you do a picture every time you do an enhancement or regenerate it's going to take credits away so make sure you watch your credits uh, how much you paid for and that tells you kind of what you're going to you know have left you know and normally it's right around I think five credits per picture approximately um, when you do that so now we're just waiting for those to generate. And again, make sure you read this part here. You're going to avoid, you know, what you're going to avoid. And then the type of photo here, you know, it's going to be uh, blue eyes, blonde hair. You know, you want a background lighting, all that. Uh, so that's pretty neat. And you can pretty much add and try anything, you know. And again, that tattoo there showed up pretty neat. But I really like those those ones right there with the black backgrounds and the, her hairdos. And then this black and white one is like really neat. It's like an old style picture. So I really like that one too. That's a really nice one. And then again, that's definitely one of my favorites right there. That's definitely her. I mean, that's the way she actually looks at the camera sometimes. So that one's kind of really neat. Now we can go in here and enhance it. Or regenerate or do anything you want there and that's where you do the enhancement <coughs> part of it so again just kind of looking at each one of them that the computer regenerated and then like I said I'm just kind of waiting to see how long so there you go four new images so that didn't really take too long uh, you know and it's going to regenerate. So these are the new ones. So that one's kind of good. Now it's got some heavy wrinkles on top of her head that maybe she doesn't really have. And maybe I have to, I have to look at and fix. And her mouth's a little different than that one than, than her normal mouth. But that one's really good there. I like that one. <clears throat> that one's not bad. The background's really cool on that one. So, and again, now we're on the computer. You know, I started out on the phone, but if I want to enhance it, I'll push enhance right there. Let's see if it takes out some of those wrinkles. And it did a little bit. You know, as you can see that, you know, uh, look at that and play with it. Again, it's just play with it and then you can save it once you enhance it. And it seems like if I do a save, it does even a little bit better picture after the save. But we still got those wrinkles right there that I'd have to figure out how to get rid of those. We can enhance this one here, see if it, that one has really a lot of light on the one side, which, you know, if you take pictures and that happens also, so that's nothing that even as photography, we have those problems, you know, with too much light on one side, but definitely like made the face look better. So an enhancing tool is really neat. <clears throat> it's like it enhances the photo even better. So. I like that one now, or we'll regenerate that one. Let's see what that does. Okay, so when you regenerate, it's going to give you four new photos. Okay, and those are generating. That's interesting. That's what the regenerate does. 
<clears throat> so I guess it gives us four new photos. When you do a regenerate, yep, there they are, okay. So it's kind of very similar to that style that you're getting. You know, the mouth there's kind of different. <clears throat> I just wanted to play with that and see what that regenerating did. So we'll, again, the mouth in that one. So we'll delete this and you just push the delete button and then push the, the next button and it'll delete them off of your <clears throat> off your page and you can save the ones you like and you can delete the ones that you don't like so that's pretty neat push delete the little trash button and then push the little little uh, cross button let's enhance that one a little bit let's see what that one will do oh nice so that's it kind of straighten it up a little bit may look a little better but again <clears throat> now again each one of those costs you credits so watch your credits now this one right here, let's see, we'll enhance it one more time. Yeah, we still got those lines, so I'm gonna save it. Yeah, it still has the forehead lines that are definitely not, my wife does not have those. So <clears throat> let's go in here and let's look at, let's try right here. Okay, recreate your image. Okay, so now you can actually a little bit. Let's see. Let's let's do the forehead. Let's cover those lines. <clears throat> now that's a pretty neat tool. That's kind of like Photoshop. So go down here. We kind of write about the lines and see if this helps. Regenerate that. That did help some, yeah. It did take some. You can see, you know, and you have different, so I guess it does four different pictures here. You can look at, see which one that you like the best out of those four. And that one has a little spot on it. It's kind of weird. But the other ones, we, don't, we definitely don't want the one with a spot on it. So we save that. And that gives us a little bit better of forehead. We got rid of some of them. That's interesting. Okay. So let's try it again. Let's see if we can. Let's look, so they're still there a little bit. And there may be, like I said, you may be able to figure out these tools a little bit better. How to smooth that out. Again, it's just kind of playing with the pictures. Go down here and text what you want it to do. And it's going to regenerate. Again, move it by here, take off this part. Let's take off this, and you can go here and text anything you want. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, my wife likes Edgar Allan Poe, so let's, let's, do, let's just do this style and see what it does. So we took off the cartoon factor down there in the avoid part because I wanted just to see if it does like a fun, kind of crazy cartoon character looking Edgar Allan Poe thing. Again, I'm just playing with it right now. It's not, it's not a, probably never use these photos, but it's just want to see what, you know, just to give you an idea. So if you're really wanting to play with some artistic, you know, style stuff, let's save that one there. <clears throat> It's always fun to kind of just try some new different things. Let's look, yeah, you still got, and I kind of smoothed it out kind of weird. Let's try it again one more time. Maybe, maybe it's happened there, but see, I did the little smoothing thing. Didn't do a really good job with that one. So maybe, there may be some other ways to work on that. Again, watch your credits, and you get more credits here. Because that's how you, each time you regenerate, enhance, or get, or generate new photos, it's going to cost you credits. And you can buy more credits, you know, even if you bought a, one program for 17 29 or whatever, you can actually buy more credits. So. Still right there, see a little white on her sides of her lips right there. And again, it may be, you know, one of the couple of those photos I've posted in there maybe had some lighting that regenerates that every time. I'm not sure. 
but it just seems to give that side of her mouth that little dention every time. So, there's your images. So you can go here and see the beauty ones that you can use. And now here you can upload an image and you can take it from, you know, your folder and just do one image. Oh, there's our, there's our Edgar Allan Poe pictures. Oh, those are not good. <laughs> those are funny. Okay. Again, like I said, just playing with it just to see kind of crazy. Like if my wife was, she was Edgar Allan Poe's baby, maybe <laughs> back in the day. So we'll delete those. those are, again, we're just playing with it and just want to see what it did. Uh, that's interesting. All right. So again, back down here, you know, adding, uploading a photo, but we'll go back to text. Text is, seems to be the one I like the most because you can really just write in here anything that you want. And uh, be careful because see, the, make sure the eye color is what you want. So blue. And then I want to change you know, what she's wearing. My wife definitely likes to wear black. So we use that more, black dress. And this time let's do outside in Ireland. Let's just see what it does. But we love Ireland in the daylight, outside in a black dress. Let's change that to a candid shot. So let's just see what a can like. That's just like you're taking a picture out in the outside and you're just like, oh, let's see what it looks like out in Ireland. My wife wearing a black dress in Ireland. Because you can type in pretty much anything you want in that box. It's going to give you an example of, uh, you know, something different. than you know, how many people get to go to Ireland wear a black dress out in the sunlight? You know, that's not everybody gets to travel to and take photos like that. Let's see again, I'm looking, I like, I always go back and kind of look at them. As a photographer, you know, I want to look at the poses and the lighting and the, and the background and just, and again, I added those tattoos to her, which was really funny. Oh, so this is interesting. So it did make her, make her eyes a little dark. But love the hair. Yeah, did a great with the hair there. And again, let's see if we can just enhance this. I don't know why it made her eyes like really dark in a lot of those, but that's okay. But you look at the backgrounds on all these. Yep, let's see there. Tattoos. Let's enhance this one. I mean, it doesn't take, it doesn't take too long to enhance it. That's pretty good. And it'll show you, and you can decide whether you like the enhancement. And I love like the blurred background. That's pretty neat. And then this one again is a little bit different. I don't know if I like that one, so we'll delete it. And again, not hard to delete. We'll enhance that one again. Try to do maybe one or two enhancements. And it does change a little bit, so you can see. You can delete them or save them. Again, the hair is really cool. I like the black shirt and the face got like some extra like did that have some extra wrinkles sometimes but you have to kind of watch for that but again something enhancing can can fix and you go back and again just looking through all the ones we've done and then we decide you know this one right here again you go back to the very beginning go back to beauty um, you know, the different styles, like I use that one and that one, just to try some different shots, uh, kind of what you're going to wear, uh, some business suits, you know, like for Lincoln in, you want to do a headshot. Those are some great ideas that you can use right there. And again, you just have to test them because the subjects, you know, definitely look a little different. You got to make sure you put in the what you want them to have, blue eyes, gray eyes, blonde hair, that different thing, because it will post something with brown hair if it's a picture with a lady with brown hair. So you wanna make sure that you put in blonde hair. 
And then, like I said, there's so many different styles there that you can do and you can play with here on this beta program, which is pretty neat. And uh, let's see real quick. Generated those. Then we learned to see when it changed the blue eyes. My wife does not have brown eyes, or I'm sorry, gray eyes. <clears throat> so it's going to generate us four new photos. And I said there's just so many to play with. And we're beginning off, you know, beginning price of, you know, approximately 17 depending upon the style you get. It's very neat. So. There's the business one. Let's look at that one. Let's see what that one does. I think that one gave her, I think I did that one before and didn't like it very much. Cause it, so the lady has a really kind of a long neck. <clears throat> Again, watching your credits as you're doing it. It's like for AI headshots, you know, 100 headshots, $17. Um, you can get 200 headshots for $29. And then, you know, for $45, you can get premium headshots. And that gives you two human edits. And you may want to do that because you may want to have the ability to put your photos in there, get the ones that regenerate. And then you can do some enhancing, but you can send them off to get two human edits and for 45 bucks, you know, to have two great pictures that, you know, you have 200 headshots and you have a hundred, you know, editing credits and be able to go in there and, and do a two, two human edits and make some perfect pictures for your business, your LinkedIn or your resume or even your Facebook, Instagram, you know, those are pretty neat. So let's try this one. Add that one in there. It's a portrait of me, That's, which is my wife actually. <clears throat> See how long the neck is in those ones? I don't know why I did that. So that's one time I said I tried that one before and I want to see if it did the same thing. So the AI just generates that lady had a longer neck. So type it in here, blue eyes. Right. But I just don't like that neck there, so <laughs> I don't know why I did that in those in that business style, so we'll delete those. And you're gonna have you know, there'll be you know, just like any other thing, there'll be some things that you would not like, but I got a lot more photos I do like than the few I don't like. So look at those, those are really neat. Got the leather jacket on, got a cool background, a little face again is a little dark in some of them, but kind of matches the, I think they changed the ends of her hair too, That's what, but you can tell the difference in the chin in some of them, so you, again, you want to go back and look at your, you know, your picture and see how close, and you know, you know what you look like, so I'm going to regenerate again, gives us four new ones, and every time you do that, you'll have so many credits, you want to make sure you watch those, all right, so... Oh, uh, so you know what I did? Those are neat, but look how long her body is. I didn't do the, you have to do the right size. And I think it's 600 by 600 pixels in the, in the one you upload. So if you upload one that doesn't match the right size for custom, it's going gonna, it's gonna to distort them some. And that's kind of what it did. It made her body real long. So we'll delete those. So make sure that you're doing custom, you're doing the right size. And that's one of the thing, great things about the community is you can go into the Discord community and talk to people and ask them different questions. And so let's delete these and delete these. Let's try something else here. Um, Disney, Disney style. Let's just see what Disney style does. And again, I'm skipping ahead on some of these so you don't, you know, you have 
Still got those wrinkles right there, top of the forehead. We can enhance it. Enhancing, I love, I love the enhance. I think that's my favorite button on this whole program is when you're playing with them and you're enhancing them. It just it helps the photo look better and smooths out some areas maybe that are that are you know not correct when it comes to maybe some wrinkles or some different things. So I definitely love that enhance button. Uh, Disney. Oh wait a minute, that's not good. <laughs> that's funny. I just did some Disney pictures, but. That's not what I was, oh, I just put Disney, I didn't put anything else, okay, never mind, you have to, I forgot to put in a picture of me, and my wife, and the blue eyes, and the blonde hair, all that good stuff. Change this to, uh, take that off, now let's go back and do... Disney, let's see, Disney Capital, Disney Style. Disney Style portrait me, blue eyes, blonde hair. Let's see if that does a better job. I guess it just popped in, since I didn't say me, it just popped in some Disney pictures. So let's delete those. <clears throat> That's funny. Yeah, no, that's not what I was looking for. But again, live and learn. Maybe I'm teaching you something that you, you can watch for, is making sure that you're you're putting blue eyes, blonde hair, and different things to that effect. Otherwise, it's going to be, it's not going to show you what you want to show you. It's going to show you something different. So, details are very important when you're typing in what you want there. You know, the blue eyes, blonde hair, what you're wearing, what style you want. Uh, so, definitely watch that part when you're typing. Because if you put something incorrect, it's going to do something totally different than what you were probably expecting. So. And again, this is a AI tried on AI. Oh, see, an elect. I love that one. Okay, that's the first one. That's very good. I like that one too. That's very neat. So it's kind of turned out really neat. Not even really Disney, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But that one has a very red. <clears throat> Let's see if we can regenerate. Her skin's really red in that one. Like you got a red light on you. This one really looks, I like that one, and it looks good. Let's see if we can do a little hand see. Let's see on here. Oh, with her eye, yeah. Let's see if we can fix that. That eye was kind of, eye kind of turned out strange. The rest of the picture looks really good, except for that one eye was, was acting kind of weird. We'll regenerate that one. Enhance that one. I love it. I can just play with this, all these pictures at the same time. Just jumping back and forth. Looking. Face. Again, those wrinkles. <laughs> they always add those wrinkles to her forehead in a lot of the pictures. <clears throat> redness and that one just if I could fix that redness a little bit so let's see I'm just waiting for that one to update what is our next thing we can do here now being my wife wife is kind of goth a lot of times and vampire definitely featuring my wife her last spinner car is vampire and she definitely loves the black and black lipstick and so let's just see if we can do some fun things with this here like a goth vampire type picture let's see what it does it's taking a while to regenerate that one for some reason but it's all right generate these other four while we're working on that one. Oh, there we go okay oh look at that whoop oh, here we popped in these other ones all oh, the vampire ones yes Okay, her eyes fixed now. That looks a little much better. So I'm gonna enhance it a little bit. Yeah, see that looks way better. That's all it took, fixing, you know, 
go in there and enhance it until you get the picture you like. Just touches it up. Yeah, I like that. Just enhances it. So our vampire goth picture. It's so cool like that. That one's definitely enhance that one. The hairdos definitely, if you know my wife, they definitely match. Enhance those two. Now those are goth vampire pictures. It probably makes her face look a little different just because I put in vampire maybe. But not a whole lot. And keep on touching those up. I like that. That one right there is definitely I like the choker. The hairdo. The choker is really neat. That one, I like that. Like she got almost a bluish hair there. Changed the hair color. Still got some wrinkles that she don't normally have right there, but that's all right. I can tell the chin difference in the two to change up her chin a little bit. So again, you, you're going to figure out which one matches more your chin, your style. See what the I'm always just kind of looking on here, seeing different things you can do. There's like so many things you can do. So we can pop that one up and look a little closer at the picture. Your lips there. Hmm, okay. I like that you can expand the picture and you can look at it a little more closely. See if you like all the details. Just take this part out again. Things to avoid. And let's do... Do a cartoon. Let's just do a cartoon. Let's just see if it does anything fun. Because you can do you can do cartoons. You can do again if you have glasses or different things. You can add glasses. But doing a cartoon is kind of kind of fun. Everybody likes to see a cartoon picture of themselves. It's regenerating those so. All right, that's interesting. Didn't do the... Don't do the cartoon, but... That one's like, that one's pretty neat. Uh, enhance that one. And again, you just don't know unless you play with it and pop up some pictures and see what you got. But then you... It's funny, that, that line's right there. But uh, you can definitely see that... Uh, no matter what you type in, it's going to bring up some ty different types of photos. And I think a lot of my... Oh, there's the cartoons. Okay. Okay, so we had the red dress a while ago. That's right. I, put in, I don't think I recorded that part, but I put in a red dress just to see what it looked like. Enhance that. And go up. And the car cartoon one's... And uh, that, one, that one, try to enhance that one real quick. Some things are different there, different to forehead. <clears throat> Definitely a different hairstyle than my wife would normally wear. So we'll see, take that one out. Uh, the cartoons are very interesting, but. Not what I thought they'd be, but you definitely see that there you can do that and play with it. Probably need to put like you know some other type of cartoon description 
Um, again, just trying to show you that way you kind of get an idea of what you can and can't do. And again, those red dress ones are really nice. I like those. And I like that that photo. Or different styles there and the different hairdos. So that's pretty neat. So let's see. Let's go in here and take out the cartoon. Just a again, yeah, I would have to go back and change that. Let's just see if we can do some green eyes. If you want to give yourself different color eyes. See a portrait of a nun's dress. Let's see. What do they call that? What do they call a nun's dress? Is a habit. Habit? Maybe I should have put a habit. Now again, this is really just being silly. So just bear with me. I want to test it and see what it did. Just to be fun. Everybody wanted to see what different styles pop up and also what kind of knowledge you know the program has is to know what a nun's dress is again I like that like the red dress and the face face and those two different style chins but Still neat pictures. I'm gonna wait for that to regenerate. Go back and look through all your photos. Well, there we go. All right. So I gave her the. That's not really a well. It's not really a nun's dress. <laughs> Maybe I needed to put it in habit. I think it's called a habit. But those still pretty neat. I gave some very neat pictures. We enhanced this one. That's kind of, that's really, I like that green dress. That gave me like a green velvet dress. Very neat. But the clothing in those, it's like my wife doesn't have any of those clothing. Does not wear any of those things. So very neat. All right. So we've got the vintage portrait with the green eyes enhance those now again we're just trying to jumping back and forth doing some different style photos just so you can maybe save yourself some credits you know by being able to really dig into and type correctly what you want and uh, the hair different than that one so so there you go let's see Enhance that one. Enhance it again. Like I said, I think enhance is one of my favorite buttons in this program. Just give that the ability again, the ability for you to have different hairdos and different clothing and different looks, different makeup. And just uh, see something different about yourself, you know. You got wearing black lace. Go in here and look. Got little spots on these arms right here. Let's see if I can take those off. Again, I don't know why I popped in two little spots there, but that's all right. And we'll take those off. Now that's regenerating from where I asked to take the two spots off her arms. And there we go. Look at it. 
Yeah, see, it's much better. I'm going to enhance that. See, much better. So, that's the way you fix little things that you see that maybe you didn't like. So, thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful day and I uh, hope you check out the program and let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for coming. Have a good day.